Not all hackers are bad. The good ones are called white hat hackers and use hacking to improve computer security. The ones who are just having fun are called gray hat hackers. But the malicious kind you're thinking of? They're called black hat hackers. Despite being the best at what they do, they can cause a lot of harm as history has shown. Here are some of the world's most famous and best hackers and their fascinating stories. What they did to earn their reputations and where they are today. Number 10. Kevin Mitnick. Top of the world famous hacker list is Kevin Mitnick. The US Department of Justice called him the most wanted computer criminal in US history. Kevin Mitnick's story is so wild that it was even the basis for a featured film called Track Down. After serving a year in prison for hacking into the Digital Equipment Corporation's network, he was let out for three years of supervised release. But near the end of that period, he fled and went on a two-and-a-half-year hacking spree that involved breaching the National Defense Warning System and stealing corporate secrets. Mitnick was eventually caught and convicted with a five-year prison sentence. After fully serving those years, he became a consultant and public speaker for computer security. He now runs Mitnick Security Consulting, LLC. Like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get one week good luck for you. Try this it really works. Number 9. Jonathan James. He began hacking at a young age, managing to hack into several commercial and government networks and being sent to prison for it all while he was still a minor. James eventually hacked into NASA's network and downloaded enough source code to learn how the International Space Station worked. That all assets equaling $1.7 million at the time, NASA had to shut down its network for three entire weeks while they investigated the breach, costing an extra $41,000. In 2007, several high-profile companies fell victim to various malicious network attacks. Even though James denied any involvement, he was suspected and investigated. In 2008, James committed suicide, believing he would be convicted of crimes he didn't commit. Number 8. Albert Gonzalez. Albert Gonzalez is another of the best hackers in the world. He started as the leader of a hacker group called Shadow Crew. In addition to stealing and selling credit card numbers, Shadow Crew also fabricated fraudulent passports, health insurance cards, and birth certificates for identity theft crimes. Albert Gonzalez paved his way to internet fame when he collected more than 170 million credit card and ATM card numbers over a period of two years. He then hacked into the databases of TJX companies and Heartland payment systems to steal all of their stored credit card numbers as well. Gonzalez was sentenced to prison for 20 years and is scheduled for release in 2025. Number 7. Kevin Polson. Kevin Polson, also known as Dark Dante, earned his 15 minutes of fame by using his intricate knowledge of telephone systems. At one point, he hacked a radio station's phone lines and fixed himself as the winning caller, earning him a brand new Porsche. The media dubbed him the Hannibal Lecter of computer crime. Polson got himself into the FBI's wanted list when he hacked into federal systems and stole wiretap information. He was later captured in a supermarket and sentenced to 51 months in prison and a bill for $56,000 in restitution. Polson changed his ways after being released from prison in 1995. He began working as a journalist and is now a contributing editor for Wired. In 2006, he even helped law enforcement to identify 744 sex offenders on MySpace. Number 6. Gary McKinnon. Gary McKinnon, known as Solo on the Internet, allegedly coordinated what would become the largest military computer hack of all time. Over a 13-month period from February 2001 to March 2002, McKinnon illegally accessed 97 computers belonging to the U.S. Armed Forces and NASA. He claimed he was only searching for information on free energy suppression and UFO cover-ups, but according to U.S. authorities, he deleted a lot of critical files and rendered over 300 computers inoperable, resulting in over $700,000 in damages. Being of Scottish descent and running out of the United Kingdom, McKinnon could dodge the American government until 2005, when he faced extradition. 
After a series of appeals, the British Prime Minister at the time, Theresa May, blocked his extradition because he was seriously ill and that extradition would be incompatible with human rights. Number 5. Robert Tappan Morris. Robert Tappan Morris picked up his knowledge of computers from his father, Robert Morris, who was a computer scientist at Bell Labs and later the NSA. Morris is credited as the creator of the world's first known computer worm. Given that all types of computer viruses have spawned, it is safe to say he's not too popular with users. In 1988, he created the Morris Worm while he was a student at Cornell University. The program was intended to gauge the size of the Internet, but it had a flaw. Computers could be infected multiple times and each infection would cause the computer to slow down even more. It rendered over 6,000 computers unusable. In 1989, Robert Tappan Morris was found to have violated the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. He was sentenced to three years on probation, 400 hours of community service, and a $10,050 fine. He eventually founded Y Combinator and is now a tenured professor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Number 4. Lloyd Blankenship. Lloyd Blankenship, known as the mentor in hacking circles, has been an active hacker since the 1970s. He was a member of several hacking groups in the past, most notably Legion of Doom. Blankenship authored an essay called Mentor's Last Words, which he wrote after being arrested in 1986. The essay has come to be a kind of cornerstone for hacking culture. Blankenship was hired by Steve Jackson Games in 1989 to work on GURPS Cyberpunk. The U.S. Secret Service raided his home in 1990 and confiscated the game's rulebook, calling it a handbook for computer crime. He has since given up on hacking and is now the head of product research and design at McAfee. Number 3. Julian Assange. Julian Assange began hacking at the age of 16 under the name Mendax. Over four years, he accessed various government, corporate and educational networks, including the Pentagon, NASA, Lockheed Martin, Citibank, and Stanford University. Assange went on to create WikiLeaks in 2006 as a platform for publishing news leaks and classified documents from anonymous sources. The United States launched an investigation against Assange in 2010 to charge him under the Espionage Act of 1917. After living in the Ecuadorian embassy in London from 2012 to 2019, Assange eventually had his asylum rights withdrawn and police went into the embassy to arrest him. He is currently in prison in the UK, though the British courts have rejected the United States extradition appeal. Number 2. Guxifer 2.0 Who is Guxifer 2.0? Nobody knows for sure. It could be a person or a group masquerading as a person. The name pays homage to a Romanian hacker who often targeted U.S. government officials and others of political prominence. During the 2016 U.S. presidential election, the Democratic National Convention's network was hacked. Thousands of documents were leaked on WikiLeaks and elsewhere. Many believe that Guxifer 2.0 is a cover for Russian intelligence, but in an interview with Vice, Guxifer 2.0 claimed they were Romanian and not Russian. Guxifer 2.0 disappeared just before the 2016 U.S. presidential election, then reappeared once in January 2017 to assert that he had no ties to Russian intelligence. We have not heard from Guxifer 2.0 since. Number 1. Anonymous. Anonymous may be the most well-known hacker of all time, yet also the most nebulous. Anonymous is not a single person, but rather a decentralized group of hackers with no true membership or hierarchy. Anybody can act in the name of Anonymous. Since their emergence in 2003, Anonymous has been credited with attacking several notable targets, including Amazon, PayPal, Sony, the Westboro Baptist Church, the Church of Scientology, parts of the dark web, and the governments of Australia, India, Syria, the United States, among dozens of others. Anonymous continues its hacktivism to this day. Since 2011, two related hacking groups have spawned from Anonymous, LULS SEC and Anti-SEC.
If you're afraid that a hacker like the one on this list will ruin your life, don't worry. They prefer to go after big organizations and entities. But you should be wary of another kind of hacker, one who wants to steal your personal data for their own gain. To stay protected, be sure to use security software to protect against malware and learn how to spot when your online accounts have been hacked. This is the end of our video. You can watch some more amazing videos on OU channel here.